What's up guys, my name is Josh and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an additional page template for your WordPress site. You'd use an, uh, a new page template if you wanted a custom, your uh, specific page to have a custom layout, like if you wanted the sidebar on the left hand side, if you didn't want any comments, or if you wanted a full screen or full width uh, style template for your WordPress site, then you do this using the page template. Um, you don't always have to uh, use page templates when designing some of your pages because some of your pages can be obviously manipulated in such a way without the need of a page template. But in this case, we're going to be making a new page template. What I want to create today is I want uh, this sidebar to be on the left hand side of the page rather than the right hand side. So in my WordPress site, I've just gone to my themes directory and in my theme, I call mine's, a, mine's just called rocket theme, which I'm making and I'm just in my themes directory. And now this is the default template. So if I went to default template, which would be page.php, I've got just a simple layout and this is what it's, it's creating. It's just putting the sidebar on the right hand side with the content on the left. So I want the sidebar on the left hand side. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create a new template file. So I'm just going to duplicate this page.php because it's exactly the same as I want it anyway. All I'm doing is moving the sidebar up to the top. So we're just going to call this new page template left sidebar. Just open that up. We don't need the other one now. Now, for WordPress to uh, recognize that this is actually a page template, we need to put in some comments. And the simple comment is just template name left sidebar. And just come out of the comments again. Okay. We'll save that and we'll just go to our edit page. And now I've got the option to have left sidebar. You didn't have to put a, a, a dash in it. I could spell sidebar, right? That would be good. You don't have to put a dash in it. You could, it doesn't have to have a dash in it. Makes no difference. It's just it's just the name at the end of the day. So you, no dash there. So we'll just set that to left sidebar. Update that. Go to our sample page. Ooh. Reload. Nothing's changed because we haven't actually made any alterations yet. We, all we've done is we've just put in the comments. So I just want to shift this sidebar to the left hand side. So we're just going to take it from the bottom and put it at the top. Because when WordPress is obviously displaying your information, it does it from top to bottom on your file. So technically the header is the first thing and then the sidebar would be the next thing and then your content and then your footer. By default it was set to obviously header, content, sidebar and then footer. Now you could obviously um, do, if you're developing a theme, you could obviously um, have this come program it. So you can program it rather than having to have a custom page template made. But it's it, in this case, we're just going to be making just a just do this temp, uh, page template. Quite simple. All I've done is just move the sidebar to the top, save that, reload the page, and now my sidebar is on the left hand side. But you've, if you notice, the, the border has miss, uh, has been missing off the right hand side now because obviously the border for the sidebar was on the left hand side of the page. If your theme doesn't uh, support uh, the, uh, well, doesn't have any styles for when the content, the sidebar is on the left hand side, then you'll have to obviously put them in yourself. Um, whether it be just simply putting the border on the right hand side rather than the left or adjusting the width. You'll have to go into your style or your CSS sheet and make your alterations to, uh, for that. And then you can obviously, and then you can design it however you want. You don't even have to have the sidebar in. Let's just show it without the sidebar. But as you can see, I've got no sidebar, but obviously my content's not always all the way, all, to, um, all the way across. So that's because um, I've got it set to column MD9. If obviously you're familiar with Bootstrap um, and Bootstrap page templates, you'll know that um, there are 12 columns in, in Bootstrap's CSS design, or te in page template, sorry. And obviously that's just set to nine, so it's only three quarters of the way. So I'm just set that to 12 and save that. 
and reload now it is full width but obviously this is the left side bar, left side bar so I'm gonna keep that as it was as a left side bar <clears throat> So that's pretty. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's um, a quick tutorial on how to make an additional page template for your WordPress site. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. If you didn't like this video, also let me know in the comments so I can improve and make a better video. Um, I will be bringing out another tutorial this Wednesday, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.